more on, the time for action is now. Calls for more subway cops grow louder after a train carnage two people found fatally stabbed on separate NYC subway trains man slashed in NYC subway station in latest transit violence MTA supports harsher punishments for attacks on transit workers the A-train ripper is in custody. Multiple law enforcement sources told the Post on Saturday that the knife-wielding madman is wanted in a gruesome subway spree that left two homeless people dead and two others slashed along the A-train line was nabbed in Upper Manhattan. The sort his shoes were still splattered with his victim's blood when he was taken into custody, and he was still in possession of the bloody knife. Once the unnamed suspect was in custody at the 34th precinct in Washington Heights, the sort of bloodshed sparked an outcry for safer subways, and NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea responded, announcing a surge of 500 additional cops for the department's transit bureau to be deployed across the city immediately. The spree began Friday morning. Not far from where the alleged stabber was caught, at 11.30 a.m., a 67-year-old man was stabbed as he pushed his walker along the southbound platform at the A-Train's 181st Street station in Washington High. I am going to kill you. He told cops his attacker screamed, a court he was stabbed in the right knee and left buttocks, while he required surgery. He is expected to survive the attack. That attack is preliminarily believed to be connected to three subsequent attacks. Twelve hours later, at 11.29 p.m. Friday, a man was found stabbed to death but still slumped in his seat on an A train at Mott Avenue Station in Far. He suffered stab wounds to his neck and torso, and was pronounced dead at the scene. Some two hours after that, at 1.15 a.m. Saturday, a 44-year-old woman was found sprawled dead, again in a pool of blood, under her subway seat inside an A train at the 207th Street Station. She had been stabbed throughout her body. Afterward, at 1.28 a.m. Saturday, a 43-year-old man was randomly stabbed as he slept on a stairwell at the A train station at West 180. He stumbled to a nearby bank on West 181st Street, but collapsed before entering the vestibule. The victim is being treated at an area hospital for four puncture wounds to his back. And his inst the 44-year-old woman was taken to New York Presbyterian Allen Hospital, where she was declared dead, according to authority. It is the worst subway stabbing spree since June of 2006, when a homeless serial slasher injured four people on a 13-hour rampage on trains in Harlem and Rockefeller Center. His victims all survived. And it is the worst mass violence against the homeless since 2019, when four homeless men were bludgeoned to death in their sleep one night in Manhattan's Chinatown. Mayor de Blasio recently waved off NYPD Commissioner Dermot Chi's public concerns of a recent spate of subway attacks, which included a strap hanger shoved onto the track.